Hello everyone, this is Pam, Rose City Stitcher, coming with you to you with my August update. Uh, I said I was going to just do a monthly video, so I'm going to show you everything I've done in August, which is a lot. I worked on a whole lot in August. Altogether, I worked on 11 projects. I finished two of them, and I didn't have any uh, new starts, I don't think, this month. I just worked on my whips all month trying to get things finished. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to show you my two finishes. Uh, my first new finish was my jeweled pear. This was a Mill Hill kit. So I finished that except for cutting it out and turning it into either a magnet or an ornament. Not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. So it was a lot of fun. I did have a little bit of trouble trying to get this, this large bead to hang down. I kept, it kept going sideways. I had a really hard time getting that situated. But other than that, it turned out really well. So that's the jeweled pear. And my other finish was my cottage. This is my August cottage. But I had started last August and didn't finish, but I had no problem finishing it this this August. Well, I really enjoyed this one. It's got the water and the sun, a little beach house. So that was a fun, fun stitch. So those were my two finishes. So like I said, here's my Oh, there we go, August tracker, so you can see what I worked on. Uh, it took me on the cottage, took me about a week, because I only worked on that for about 30 minutes a day, to finish that one up. And the uh, mill heel, the, the jeweled pear, only took about three days to finish, finish up. That one really didn't take very long to do. I enjoyed the beading on that. Okay, so on to my whips. Um, I participated in the All That Glitters Stitch Along with Stitch Mania. So I was working on different projects that either used beads or some kind of sparkle. So the first one I started on was uh, Joan Elliott's Native Maiden. And unfortunately, once I started working on, on this one, I realized it really didn't have as much sparkle as I thought. Um, she looks like that. This was out of a magazine. So I only worked on her for one day because once I realized that the beads were only going to be on her bracelet, I thought that really wasn't very glittery. So there you can see where I just worked on it for a day. And then I picked something else to work on that had more, more glitter to it. And the one that I ended up working on was my Mirabilia Queen Mermaid. And you'll see I got uh, a lot much on that one. Okay, so this is my Queen Mermaid. Okay, she's gonna look like this when she's finished. And like I said, I got a, a lot done on her. And she's being done on Mosel hand dyed fabric a 16 count and there's my progress I finished one of her third of her tail so I worked on this a whole lot I did all that Oops. all this part here so so that was a lot done and then I did that the green seaweed also so got a lot done on this one because I worked on this one late into the night while I was watching the Olympics so I got a lot done because I watched a lot of the Olympics and they were on late and I wasn't back at school yet so I could stay up late so this one I had a lot of fun and worked on this one a lot okay uh, and I also was working on the uh, fantasy stitch along the one that Lake Side Needle Crafts is doing. Um, so there's, you know, a black and white of that. And of course, we got our first picture. So that. And I finished that. So this is also on a most sale 16 count hand dyed 
And there's my little Pegasus. So, and of course we got the new one. It's a little wizard. So I will be working on that one this month for September. So I worked on that one. And then I worked on uh, the next, next week of the... Um, all that glitter stitch along. I worked on Joan Elliott's Snow Fairy because she's done on a glitter fabric. She looks like this. She's being done on 16 count white silver. And there's my progress on her. So that one's really coming along. a lot of progress on her also and let's see then I actually pulled my pumpkin passport back out I was so happy to um, actually got back in the groove with this one and I finished a couple blocks on this one do you remember I was still on April's I gotten really behind so I finished April and did May, which was the crease block. So still running behind, but I at least got one and a half blocks finished in August. So making a little more progress. So I'm going to try to pull this out and work on this a little bit so I can get those blocks, the rest of the blocks caught up. So that was my, my oh, that's being done on 28 count ale by Picture This Plus. And then I worked on, let's see, I worked on the August Cottage, and I'll finish that. And then the other, the next week for the All That Glitters, I was working on the, the Jeweled Pair. So, and then uh, I was working on, here's my other. And for the last, last week of the, the third week I was working on Mill Hill kits for the all that glitter so I finished the pair and then I did the beading on my Santa I still had the the tree to bead and the cat so I went ahead and did that so he's all done except for putting his mustache on and there's like a bow on the present that I need to do and then he'll be all finished so he's almost done and then on the 24th, uh, Stitch Mania had Mellow Yellow, where you stitch something with yellow. And for that, I did my Fire Goddess. So let me show you a picture of her. She, of course, has a lot of yellow. And I didn't get a, a whole lot done on her that day. Because school had started. School had started the 22nd. So the 24th, I was pretty exhausted. So not very much got done. So only did did a little bit of the, the yellow that was in here. Plus, I, was like, I had a hard time figuring out where I had left off. Because that pattern is in color, so I wasn't marking it. So I ended up having to make a copy of that, working copy of that, so I could highlight, so I could see where I was on that. So that took a little bit of my time. And this is also a 16 count hand dyed by Moselle. And I'm going to be working on this one next month for the color because it's going to be Orange Crush. It's an orange. This has orange in it too. So this one will be pulled back out for a day on September 24th and to work on that one. Okay, and on the 26th, uh, Cross Stitch Finish Line is doing a challenge, Stitch Along. I know my ABCs, where you do a different letter each month, and it was C. So I went ahead and did, oh, let me show you the pattern. It's like it's this one. For my ABCs. And so I went ahead and did the C, which is the wine Chablis. 
So I'm going to start doing this one each month for I know my ABCs. So that way I can really get some progress on this. I can spend a day. So, so next month on this one I'll be doing the D for dessert. Well, that'll be fun. So that I really like this this one. So that gives me an excuse to pull this one out at least one day a month to work on it. And then the the last week of the uh, all that glitters. Since I had not done the native maiden, I had to pull something else out. So I decided to pull out my heaven and earth design mini shaman because she's done on. Um, I think it's a 16, maybe an 18 count uh, glitter silver fabric. And that's where she is. So I went ahead and started that, that next page. So I got a pretty good fit done on that one. So I worked on her. So that's everything that I worked on. Like I said, I was pretty pleased with my progress on everything. Like I said, everything kind of slowed down after about the 16th of August because I had to go back to school, start get my room ready, and then we had training, and then school started the 22nd. So after the 22nd, there wasn't a whole lot getting done. I was pretty tired in the evening and couldn't stay up late anymore. So, so won't be making as much progress now until school gets kind of settled down a little bit, which by a couple more weeks, things won't be quite so, so hectic and so tiring. So those were all of my whips. So next I'm going to go ahead and show you what my uh, plans are for September. I've got those. I have to turn my page here. So for September, uh, I plan on doing my Frosted Pumpkin Passport. I'm hoping to at least get one more month done, maybe a month and a half, so I can try to catch up on those. Uh, the Fantasy Mystery Stitch Along, I plan to do the next one on that. If you hold it a second, I've got that one right here. It's this little wizard, so I'm going to work on that one and get him done. Uh, for Stitch Mania, September Stitch Along is world of pure imagination so I'll be doing kind of things that I think are imagination type so of course the wizard I think fits that so I'll be doing that one I'll be can, uh, working on snow fairy again the one I showed you the Joan Elliott I'm gonna work on that one uh, for this week and because fairies are imaginary and then on the second week I'm gonna do my See, there she is. Whoops. It's coming out of my thing here. I'm going to do uh, another Joan Elliott, and it's the kit uh, Goddess of the Sea. And um, Soulful Stitching Sisters is also doing a stitch along. They're doing a Joan Elliott. So this is going to be able to fit and the Snow Fairy kind of fitting both those stitch alongs because it's a Joan Elliott and uh, Imagination. Because of course Mermaid's Imaginary. So let me show you where I left off on this one. This is another Mohs sale. I said most of my hand dyed fabric that I have was from a, a Mohs sale. I was doing the fabric of the month with them. So that's why I have a lot of those. And that's where I left off on her. But I'll keep the work on her the, the second week. As you can tell, I love Joan Elliott's a lot. And then I'm going to work on my September cottage, kind of in the midst of all that. So there's my September cottage. So I'll work on that one. So that one kind of fits because it's got the schoolhouse and I'm a school teacher. So work on that one. And I'll be doing that on the same, the same fabric as I've done all the rest of them. It'll be on this 28 count tie dyed even weave by uh, Charles Craft. That I've done all those on. 
And then the next week, the third week, I'm going to be doing uh, Heaven and Earth Design called Faces of Fairy. I'm going to see a theme going here. Um, I really like this one. So this is my Faces of Fairy number 162. So I'm going to work on her. And excuse all my little threads there, but... So that's where I am on her. I finally got done with the green and was getting moved over to the purple, which I love. So that's for my uh, World of Pure Imagination. That's going to be the third week. And then, uh, like I said, the 24th is Orange Crush. So I'll be doing my Joan Elliott again, Fire Goddess, doing the orange. And then on the 26th, now I know my ABCs, letter D. I'll be doing the desserts for the gourmet ABCs. And then the last week, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to work on Candy Cane Santa for the World of Pure Imagination. Oh, awful glare. Oh, there we go. And let me show you where I am on that. And this is being done on 16 count dove gray that came with the kit. And. There's where I am right there on that one, so I'll work on this one. So, so those are pretty much my plans for August. I'm real excited to work on the Joan Elliott's and getting back to my Santa. So those are my plans. I said I won't have quite as much progress on them as I have in the past with school, but those are, are my plans. So next, I'd like to show you some of my haul. I had really done well because I had done so bad in July with buying things. So I told myself I wasn't going to buy very much in August, and I did really, really well until the last week of August when I found out our LNS was closing. Like, oh my gosh, I've got to get over there and get fabric and things. So, you know, my restraint kind of went out the window with that. So we went over there last Saturday so I could take advantage of getting whatever she had for sale. She didn't have a, a large sale. She only like had 10% off of her charts and beads and printing and stuff, but her fabric she had really heavily reduced. So I got the fabric for a really good price and then I bought a few beads and some printing and a couple patterns. So let me show you what I got from her. Um, the pattern that I bought was this one, Teresa Winsler's uh, Woodland Fairy, and I bought, oh, let me show you the beads, and then I bought uh, some Whisper, um, this is for the Mirabilia Snow Queen that I'm trying to slowly get kitted up, and then I got this Krennic is for Aurora. It's a purple. I've uh, ordered the fabric for her from Pole Stitches. The called for fabric. So as soon as that arrives, I'll be starting her. Hoping that doesn't take too long because I'm really anxious to start her. And then I got uh, her beads. 2085. Purple. And... 4240, another purple, it's kind of showing up blue, but it's a, it's a purple. And then I got um, 2077, this is a kind of a maroon color. And then there's a 332, she's, actually I'm going to hold off showing you those two. Hold off showing you those two minutes because those go with something else that I got. Okay, so then let me show you the fabric that I bought. This is a 16 count Ada, uh, 18 by 25 and a half piece called Tumbleweed. So I got that. I said I have no plans for what I'm going to use any of these for, but I just wanted to take advantage of the sale because they it was like 50% off. So I bought that one. And then I got this piece of 22 count antique blue. The 15 by 18 piece. That's 
kind of a it's kind of a grayish blue. And then I got Honeysuckle Pink, 16 count. It's a 28 by 25 and a half by 18, so it's a pretty big piece. I wanted to do this uh, my uh, Crystal Symphony. I thought about doing on this. It's it's just got a real light pink, but when I tried to look at it, I'm afraid the beads aren't going to show up. The white beads aren't going to show up very well on this. I think I'm going to have to go with a little bit darker pink on that. So, but I'll find something for that. And then this was awesome. This was an entire yard of 16 count barnwood, and it's a humongous piece of fabric. That's like half. Like the whole yard. I said, I don't know what I'm going to use it for. My son was like, what are you going to use with that huge piece of fabric? I'm like, I don't know, but I'll find something. Um, I'll probably cut it down for something, but I thought um, it's like a dark gray. So I thought maybe a Halloween project would maybe look good on that. So I was really pleased with getting that huge, huge piece. And it was like normally $40, and I got it for $15 for a whole yard of fabric. So I was really, really happy with that. So that's what I bought from our local in, uh, Neil Craft Shop. Um, she was going to be closing mid-September, but now she said she may not close until the end of October or mid-October. So I'm hoping maybe I can go over there one more time and get a little bit more fabric. So the other things that I bought, uh, just a few little things. Like I said, I was doing really good and not buying very much until that happened. Uh, but I bought this this little... Mill Hill kit called Scotty, the winter holiday one. I got this on eBay for a really good price. So I got, got that. And then I bought Gwen, the Nora Corbett. I've been this one has been on my wish list a long time. I went to three stitch and then they had it on sale. So I'm like, okay, I can buy it now. And that's what these other uh, beads are for. These these are uh, two greens. Uh, Kind of a chartreuse color and then a, kind of a hunter green. So those I bought for for Gwen. Uh, number 332 and number 2031. So those are those are for her. And she was out of a lot of the beads, so I'm gonna have to buy some of the beads actually on on one two th actually I did buy them on one two three stitch they're on their way they're coming along with I went ahead and got her fabric also on uh, one two three stitch I'm gonna do her on I believe I bought haunted so that's coming in the rest of her beads so I'll have that to show you next time because as soon as that comes I'm gonna start her too um, so cause like I said I didn't have any new starts last month so I'm ready for some new starts and then I bought off of uh, Stash Unload, and I was so thrilled to get this. I had been wanting some of these for so long, and I never come up, never see them come up. This is called Fruit Cocktail. Um, it's a limited edition kit between Dinky Dyes and Glendon Place, and it comes. It doesn't come with the fabric, but it did come with the silk threads. This is. Um, a limited edition called Fruit Cocktail that it's just for this. Can't really see that like at all. Let's see. Here we go a little bit better. Oh, there we go. Um, it's got oranges and yellows in it. And then this is called um, there's an apricot and peach. Let's see the two of those. So those are for this. So I'm real anxious to do that one. I just I need to find some fabric for it. I don't know what color. I don't know what fabric I'm going to do this on yet. So, but I probably won't worry about a hand dyed. I'll just probably just get some even weave and a, a plain color for that. And it does have some be called for beads that I'll need to to get also. But yeah, really really excited to have that, found that. And I got um, this one also off a of stash and load. This is an out of print pattern, so I was really happy to find it. You can see 
purple. Love my purple. Uh, this is called Purple Pansy Flower Angel by um, Vermilion Stitchery. So really, really pretty. So get some fabric for that. That one also, I don't, I don't know that I'll, I don't know, I might get, you know what, that pink might be good on this. I might could use that pink for this one. What do y'all think? Tell me what y'all think of that, that light pink fabric that I bought. If this would look nice on a light light pink, that might be kind of pretty. So yeah, I'll have to see if this would fit on that. That could that could be a use for it. So there's that one. And then I was enabled by I Heart Cross Stitch. Hello. And it's like she had actually done uh, mentioned my name for a project that was on this in this this is cross, ultimate cross stitch nature and she had mentioned that i was doing doing this pattern which i am but when i looked at this oh my gosh there's other things that i wanted in it so i'm like even though i have this pattern there was a lot of them in here i did not have so i'm like okay i'm gonna get it because i love nature love animals and landscape scenes so i went ahead and bought this the, i'm not gonna do a walk through on it because um flip through I mean because she already did, did one for you so um if you want to see it go to i heart cross stitch and she did a, a flip through of this but one of them that i really really like is this one here it's a seasonal scene so i plan on doing that one because that's just gorgeous um and uh, i like this wildlife Wildlife in winter, those I thought were really pretty. I like the owl and the, the little bird there. Uh, so I want to do that one. And let me show you. There was two others that I liked in here, if I can find them real quick. Oh, this was the other. The bunnies. I just absolutely love <laughs> those little bunnies. They're just so cute. So I might make those for like little Christmas cards or something for Easter. So those are really cute. Those are by Deborah Page. And there's one more if I can find it real fast. Um, actually, there's two more. Just remember this one. This kind of looks to me like this could be a really nice companion piece to my poppies. It's the same designer, uh, Susan Bates. So after I do the poppies, which you can see that, you know, on the color cover there, that would be a really pretty to to frame side by side the lavender and then the poppies so yeah I'm gonna definitely do that one also cuz right purple love my purple and then the last one I liked was this one right here this is by Maria Diaz which I really like her designs this one here and I'll just really like to stay there that little cottage with the stream with my cross stitch I mean just just beautiful it's called Riverside Retreat and when she showed this, I said, okay, well, I've got to get that if, just for that pattern because that's just beautiful. I really like it. really, really like that. So that will, you'll be seeing that as a new start sometime soon because I really do like this one a lot. So that was my haul. Like I said, a lot of it was unexpected haul, but I like I like what I got. Like I'm really excited. Everything I bought is stuff I really want to start like immediately, and most of it I can pretty start pretty quick. So I'm really excited for some new starts. Um, anyway, so that's kind of what I've been doing this month and what my plans are for September, uh, October. I'm going to be participating in uh, Soulful Stitching Sisters uh, Challenge. If y'all are interested, go over to her Facebook page. She's going to be doing a challenge called A Year of Whips. And it starts October 1st. And we're going to concentrate on between 10 and 15 of our whips that we would like to finish. And we're going to work on those from October 1st this year till December of next year, of 2017. And see how many of our whips that we can get finished. So I'm really excited about that because I have you know 40 whips right now and I would really like to get that number down some uh, so I'm really excited to be participating in this challenge with everybody so if you're interested in that challenge and want to you know work on your whips and make some progress go over and look at that Facebook group we're a great group it's a small group just got started I'm Melanie Watkins is the one 
um, that has this group that created the group. And so it's a lot of fun. Like I said, this month we're doing a uh, Joan Elliott stitch along, and that's what she's doing. We're gonna have our year of whips, but she still has a stitch along also for each month. And I'm gonna try to just use my whips, you know, in those stitch alongs, which I'm gonna have some new starts. Um, but I do want to try to spend a lot of time concentrating on those. I'm not going to make have a lot of new starts. Um, Stitch Mania, I'm going to probably do a little bit different, you know, next May, kind of like what Blimey Cat did. So I don't end up with, you know, another 17 new new whips. I liked her ideas. If she had finished her whip from last year, then she could start a new one. If not, she worked on that one. I thought that was a really good idea. And that's what I'm planning on, on probably doing also. So I don't just keep adding to my um, my whips that I have and try to. Of course, a lot of my whips are kind of large, so some of them are going to take a while. But some of my small and medium ones, I'm hoping I can concentrate on and get finished. So, right. So that's my plans. Uh, what I thought I would do now, since we're at 31 minutes, that's not too bad. I think I have uh, time. I wanted to show everybody my heaven and earth designs. I don't think I'd ever showed everybody all my heaven and earth designs, and I thought this would be a good time because she's having a sale, 40% off. I was bad, I already bought two. Oh well, <laughs> it's a new month, right? So anyway, so I bought a couple of those patterns, so I thought I'd show these to you. So if you were looking to buy a pattern, and maybe you might be interested in one of these that I have. So I've already showed you the, um, have the Faces of Fairy 162. The purple, the fairy with the purple hair. So I have that one, and I showed you the the mini shaman that I've been working on. That's like my oldest whip. That's I've been working on that one for a while. So those are are two of them that I have. And then uh, another one I have that I'm working on is this one here. It's called Mini Crossing Spirits. So if you're interested in that one, that one doesn't have a whole lot of colors. It's all just the black and grays and whites. So I have that one. Uh, one that I forgot to bring in here, which I know I've showed it on um, some of my other videos. Walking Through the Highlands, another one by uh, Jasmine Griffith. I do have that one also, but I forgot to bring that one in here. But I brought my notebook that's got all of the other patterns. So here's my notebook that's got them in there. I have 27 Heaven and Earth Designs, like I could ever finish those in my life. but. Anyway, that's what I've got. Um, so let me show you these. This, these are the two that I bought today. Got this one, Mini Magic Mirror. Artwork by Ian Stokes. And I bought this one, Mini Snow White Fall by Zindi Nielsen. I've had my eye on this one for a long time, so I was really anxious to... I'm like, okay, I've got to get this one since there's a sale. And this was a freebie. I'm thinking it still may be. This is by Jan Patrick Krasny. This is Egyptian Queen. This is like a part of another design, of a larger design. And I've got Mini Sonura. That's by Jeff. Becky Griffith, Griffith. I like her designs. You can see I have several of her designs. Uh, this was a quick stitch freebie um, called Sleeping Beauty by Amy Stewart. And this one's not available anymore as a freebie. And then uh, another freebie called Dancing Aurora by Amy Stewart. And oops. Fairy Witch. Not even going to try to say that name. So those are the freebies. And the rest of these I've got are in a sheet protectors. So this is a mini I Remember Moonlight by Adele Seltzer. And we've got Mini Moonlight. Now that's another one by Zindi Nielsen. And then Mini Maleficent. I said Sleepy Beauty is my favorite. 
So as soon as this came out, I snatched it up immediately. And then I've also got the story keep for it also. And then I've got the mini Enchantment of the Wolf. And mini Alice in Snow White, another Jasmine Beckett Griffith. This was an older freebie called Ice Princess by Hannah Lynn. You know, she has a lot of nice designs. Uh, by Randall Spangler, mini Home is Where the Heart Is, or ma Where the Magic Is, Where the Magic Is. I really like this one. She's got different ones for like all the different seasons, and she's got one for Halloween. And then I've got another one by her called Mini Village Bookstore. Really like this one. Really pretty house. And then I've got the Story Keep for Home is Where the Magic Is. And many seven deadly sins. So this is all of all of them. Oh, I do hope to stitch all these are part of Marta Dalek. So you know, I've seen people stitching a, a, a lot of these. These are really nice. I like those. And then another free older freebie. This was um, Christmas an animals. Fly Butterfly. Another older freebie. This is Furry Animals. And then what's this? Let's see, so the lion. And then um, Moon Fantasy Story Keep. I really like this one. It's really pretty. And then a uh, quick stitch, Purple Mirage by Nadia Tate. Hope these are focusing well enough for y'all to see these. Another one by Nadia Tate, Quick Stitch, Waiting for the First Dance. An old freebie called All Hallows Eve. And the last one, Nefertari. By Micah Chalina. I said on this one, it's like I'm I don't want to stitch all that that black for sure. Um, so what I'll probably try to do is get some kind of uh, fabric, a hand-dyed fabric, a dark hand-dyed fabric or something to use uh, with that. I don't know. Tell me what you all think. But I definitely don't want to just stitch pages and pages of black. So definitely get, get some different kind of fabric and then just stitch, you know, just stitch her on that one. So hope you enjoyed looking at those and maybe found something you might like yourself to, to get. Any questions about any of those, let me know. Uh, so that's all I have for today. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for all my subscribers. I have over 300 su subscribers now, so I'm really excited about that. So people watching my videos, uh, so if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I do try to answer or respond to all the comments that I can. I try to check back. Uh, so I hope everybody has a great stitchy day, and I'll see you the end of September to show you my progress. So have a great weekend and a great Labor Day for those of us in the U.S. The rest of you have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.